to you, Ratner students, Ratner fifth graders. We are wrapping up a, another week of demo learning, and today we're going to have a game show. Uh, we are going to uh, have a little fun here at review on this Friday. We've got a few slides to go through, excuse me, a couple problems, and you can uh, have a notebook and a pencil and a mass textbook and a protractor at the ready as tools to help you succeed during this somewhat interactive math review session. So get ready to play, get ready to, to pause and try these questions and um, let's see how you do. So for our first question, picking up where we left off from yesterday is name the figures that are rhombuses. So you've got uh, four figures here. Think about what you know about rhombus, the rhombus properties of a rhombus and try to decide which figures are rhombuses. So this is figure A, B, C, D. This is E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and there should be an O here. Let me uh, write that in now. Sorry about that. So we'll say this is a, uh, a $100 question. So see if you get this right. Pause it right now and list all the figures that are rhombuses. E, F, G, H. Excuse me. Allergies and I, J, K, L. We will move on to the next one. And this one here. Uh, find the measure of each marked angle. So go ahead and uh, look at the clues this gives you and the clues that this gives you. And in 17, you want to figure out the measure of angle A. And in 18, you want to figure out, uh, figure out the measure of angle B. And we'll call this one $200. Okay, so this one, each angle, an angle, and this triangle here is 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle. You probably noticed these slashes indicating that these three sides are equal. And if the three sides are equal, then the three angles are also equal. So 60 degrees here, over here, this one. 45. This is a right isosceles triangle. So 45, 45, and 90. Hopefully you uh, you did well on this one in addition to the last one. And you've got $300 to your credit. Let's take a look at the next slide. Okay, so find the measure of each marked angle. And there are four, four problems on this page. All right, so you've got to look at the clues, to read the clues, and figure out how much these angles are. So I am going to give you a few minutes. We'll call each question 100 points, $100. So you might have 300, you might not have any 100 right now, but... Here's your chance for another $400 to add to your game show winnings. I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to suggest that you pause it right here and solve these four figures. Solve um, each of the prompts. Find the measure of each marked angle. And when you're ready, unpause and see how you did. $400 at stake, hypothetically speaking, right? All right, have some fun. Good luck. Do the math and check back when you're finished. Okay, 
And here's number 19, 55 degrees. So um, what you would do here is you would notice that these two angles, these two sides are the same. So you can do 180 minus 70 and you get 110 and you divide that by 2 and that's where you come up with the 55 because this angle and this angle are, are congruent okay so that one 55 degrees for number 19 you're looking at an isosceles triangle, right? Um, let's hop over here to number 20. So they said it's a parallelogram. So right away, you should have figured that this angle and this angle are congruent. And that this angle is the supplement of this angle. So this should have been 120, I believe. Because the four angles in a parallelogram, of course, add up to that 360 degree number. So let's take a peek. And x equals 120, as previously indicated. All right, so hopefully you've got an extra $200 in the bank for big weekend math uh, spending spree here. All right, so now we're looking at number 21. E, F, G, H is a rhombus. E, F, G, H. Okay, so that means if this is 114, this should be 114. This line bisects the rhombus into two. All So that means you can do 180 minus 114 180 minus 114 will give you this whole angle. And then we're going to divide that too because this is a bisecting line. This this line bisects the rhombus into two triangles. So we're going to say this should be 66, 66 degrees over here. So half 66 would be divide that by 2. And of course that should be a 33. Let's see, 33 degrees, 33 degrees. All right, so that's uh, number 21. Number 22, you've got JKLM is a trapezoid. JKLM, trapezoid. Let me erase some of this for you. JKLM is a trapezoid in which JK is parallel to ML. So that means that angle Z must be the supplement of this because if you if you continue this line straight, this angle is the same as this angle. And we know if this is a straight line, this is the supplement. Let's call it this. This angle right here will be the supplement of this. So thus, this is the supplement of this. So 180 minus 125. 
So hopefully you paused it and you can see now that this angle here is 55 degrees. Whoop. So maybe that was a big payday for you, this page, and you got another 400. You're looking at 700. A couple problems to go. Okay, Radner. <clears throat> My Radner friends, um, this has gone a, a little bit long. So I'm going to just show you the remaining questions and answers so that you can complete your studies. So this first one here is a parallelogram. And this is, a, uh, even though it's a bit distorted, this is an isosceles triangle. So you're figuring out um, the missing angles here. Um, this one was 55. I would say pause it right now, solve this one. Pause it and see how you do. $100 question. And the answer. Angle Y is 30 degrees. And angle Z is 60. Next question. We'll say $200 question. Isosceles triangle, triangle AB. C is an equilateral triangle. Find the measure of angle X. Pause it right here. And the answer. 14 degrees for angle X. A little bit of explanation, but it's an isosceles triangle. So start right there. There's your entry point. So you do 180 minus 32. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. I'm just going to show you one quickly. So 148. So this angle and this angle to collectively are 148. So you do 148 and divide that by 2. And you're going to get 74. Okay. So from here to here is 74. From here to here <clears throat> is 74 degrees. All of this. But you know that this is an equilateral triangle right here. If this were drawn to scale, this triangle here is actually equilateral. So that means that let me grab a different color. This part of the angle is 60. That's supposed to be green. This is 60. And this is 60. So if these are 60, but this whole angle is 74, then this little angle X is the difference between 74 and 60. And of course, at this point, you already know that that is 14 degrees. That's supposed to be an arrow, not a snake. All right, I hope you had some fun on the game show review. And look for a quick check on Chapter 13 on Monday. Have a great weekend, Radner.